Good morning, everyone. Still, it's 7:20. Because of that, uh, this Nagoya station really quiet. Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senoka. So today we are at Nagoya station. We are heading to Hida by train. It will take about two hours and thirty minutes. So this way, let's keep walking. Let's go. By the way, I am here from Tube Centria International Airport. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my previous video too. So this is the train that we will ride on. It's the new train, Hida Wide View. Riding on a new train, always excited. This is the seat looks like. It's pretty comfy. There is a space in front and also there is a place for desk. Well, I was surprised because it's going to the backward. This one firstly goes to the gift station and going to the front. So, first 20 minutes feels kind of awkward, but it's okay. Oh, this one used the engine and the battery both ways. Environment friendly. Finally arrived. Uh, already from here, the festival atmosphere. So let's go to eat Hida beef. We will eat it here. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Really nice atmosphere. Oh, they use A5 Hida beef. Wow. Thinking about the Hida beef, it's a steel. So this one is a roast beef. And this one is yakiniku style and steak style. All right, here we go. Let's eat. Sweet. Oh my goodness, look at this beef. Well, I can tell it's mechoishi before I eat, but I have to make sure. Itadakimasu. Oh my goodness, look at this meat. It must be really good. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's really soft, fatty, and juicy. I love it. Well, my bucket list with Hida and eating Hida beef. Checked. Sweet. And also, let me give you an advice. <laughs> Cook it one by one. Otherwise, you will burn it. <laughs> so, next, eating with salt. Mm. I love eating yaginiku with salt. Yeah, especially those kind of good meat. Yeah, I think salt goes with best. And one of my favorite veggie, shiitake mushroom. Mm. Love it. How about this spinach? Mm. It has a really nice dashi and soy sauce flavor. Perfect with white rice and miso soup. That was really good. Next, let's go to eat the street food. <laughs> Loving it. Oh, sweet. Rain has stopped and look at the sky. Hopefully, it will be a blue sky. Let's keep walking. This is the most popular traditional street. <laughs> Here, we have a sake scene park. Inside, there are the sake sakura. Many kinds of sake they have. You can <laughs> try it with 100 Japanese yen. Can you believe that? So firstly, we can break the bill over here. And you need to get the cup here by the gacha pong. This gacha pong is also 100 Japanese yen too. And now you need to get the coin. And this coin can use it for the server. So let me try this coin. It says fruity. <laughs> Sweet. Kanpai. Oh, really smooth. It doesn't feel like it's sucky. <laughs> Dangerous. But I love it though. 
And this one is interesting. It's a grape sake. Oh. So it's like wine, huh? Oh. This one right there. Really smooth. Doesn't feel like it's sake. Dangerous number two. I can't stop drinking. <laughs> Next one, let's try the spicy one. Oh, <laughs> I made a mistake. It's okay. Let me try this one. <laughs> 100 Japanese yen. It's a steal. Come back. Oh, yep. This one tastes like sake. A little bit spicy. Just a little bit though. Yeah, made a mistake, but still. Psycho. <laughs> Inside the store, you can buy the souvenirs and sake. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this one. <laughs> it's a sake cat. Wait, is it the cat? Not sure. Inside, there is a garden and a restaurant. Nice atmosphere. Since we are here, let's eat dango rice cake. Sensei, aizamasu. Itadakimasu. Alright, so the next food is kohei mochi. They usually use the mochi rice, but this one, they use the regular rice and they make it the mochi. It's a soy sauce based. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Mm. Well, compared to regular mochi, it's less sticky. Feels like I'm eating a rice bowl. Very interesting. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. Loving it. Hi, Sasha. Hi, Damas. Sweet. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. Oh, we can eat it over here. All right, sweet. Next one is the hida beef. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't have a strong taste of soy sauce. The hida beef fat has a really nice sweetness. I love it. And also, this plate, we can eat it. It's a rice cracker. <laughs> it's hida's traditional art. It's all made by one wood. Wow, really traditional. Oh, look at this. It's a Hida beef croquette. I've never tried that. Why not? Let's do it. Aizamasu. All right, next one. It's a Hida beef croquette. Itadakimasu. Mmm. It's just deep fried inside. It's really so and also sweet as well. To be honest, I can't really feel the hida beef for this, but it's uh, <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. It's a hida hand roll. Well, we just got the hida sushi. So, hida hand roll? Let's do it next time. What is this place? Oh, that's a hida beef skewers. They have a premium one. Let's do it. Oh. All right, next food. It's a hida beef kushiyaki. Oh my goodness, look at this. It must be good. Itadakimasu. Mm. So tender and sweet. Firstly, it's salty, and then the meat is juicy sweetness exploding. <laughs> mm. Loving it. Now we are getting closer to the shrine. Here, more matsuri atmosphere. Oh wait, finally I found the float! <laughs> Let's have a closer look. <laughs> so many people moving with yatai. <laughs> moving really fast. 
<laughs> it's like a rich chef. Well, going into such a small place in such a huge floor, it makes me nervous. Hopefully, they can do it well. And they did it. I thought people will be like, yeah, but uh, you know, Japan style. <laughs> yep. It's a, it's a Japanese matsuri. People enjoy the matsuri with Japanese way. If you come over here, please make a noise for them. Maybe they will be a little bit happier. <laughs> Maybe not. It's okay. Let's keep walking. Let's go. So we get to the main street. Those eight floors would have been here and lined it up. However, we can't see it this year because of the raining this morning. Let's explore this shrine a little bit. We get to the Yatai Kaikan, we can see the Yatai, which is a float inside. Here, let me explain about the festival a little bit. Hida Furuka Festival is registered on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage. The floats used in the festival are called Yatai. Besides being paraded through the town, they are used as stage for performing art including Karakuri Ningyo and the children's kabuki. When the first yatai was created is uncertain, but according to the earliest record remaining, it's during the Edo period around 1776. That's the puppet made in Edo period. Let's check the shrine. Oh, look at the leaves. It's changing the color. In autumn, must be really beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this place! <laughs> it's like from the Ghibli anime. Feels like it continues to the another world. Wow. I can't remember when was the last time that I seen him. After the Shishimai dance, the floor came out. <laughs> I don't think he is interested. It starts raining. Let's eat dessert. Oh my goodness, it's really nice atmosphere. Sweet. It's so cute. <laughs> It's matcha tiramisu with rabbit and it comes with coffee. Time for dessert. Itadakimasu. <laughs> I can't do it. But let's do it. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mecha oishi. Sweet tiramisu with bitter coffee. Hearing the sound of festival, I love here. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> Kanpai. Ooh, that was good. All right, so let's go back. So just came back to the hotel at the gift station. Tomorrow we will explore the beautiful castle. So see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful day! Alright, let's go! Arigatouzaimasu! Oh my goodness, what a beautiful place! So this is the Nagara River, and uh, that's Gift Castle. We are heading to the different castle today though. Sweet! Finally it became a beautiful day! Loving it! So let's go to check the first spot. This way. So we are at one of the most popular kitchen knife place, Sanshu. And he will show us inside. Onegashimasu! So this place, they have a Hamono museum and also there is a place to buy the stuff. But firstly, 
let's go to check the museum. Inside, you can see people actually working for the hamono and also the real stuff. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> It's my first time to see them. Inside the museum, they explained me how they make the kitchen knife and the Japanese sword. It was my first time to learn the detail about it. Really interesting. Beautiful. Well, it is scary. <laughs> Laminate They also showed me the real performance. It was a bit scary, but really cool. Even he cut the bamboo many times, he always used the same part. Really accurate. Wow. Again, same place. They also gave me the special permission to enter the room and the film. Inside, it was really hot. I couldn't imagine how hot it will be during the summer. I really enjoy the sound. Yes, it's the art. Oh my goodness, can you see the layers over here? They also gave me the special permission to try. It looks very simple, but it was much harder than what it looks like. Oh my goodness, it's much heavier than what it looks like. Wow. The master looks a bit scary, but he was really nice and kind. It was scary. <laughs> but I love it though. Next to the museum, you can buy the souvenir and their product. There are some products only you can buy it here too. So this guy's over here. You can only buy it here. 33 layers. The most popular one. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these scissors, so cute. Goodness, I got a souvenir. Oh sweet, it's a nail cut. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for lunch. Let's go. For lunch, gift protector special ramen. Gift ramen. Let's go. So time for lunch. Gift special ramen. My first time to try. It's fried rice. Itadakimasu. Mm. And now it's time for ramen. The choshu. It has very gentle taste. However, nice garlic flavor. Compared to regular ramen, a bit different. Very interesting. If you love garlic, definitely you will love them. Also, there is a spice. Make it spicier. <laughs> and now it's time for a hard boiled egg. Oh my goodness, look at this. Very soft. Next, let's go to the Inuyama Castle. Let's go! Alright, we arrived. So now we are at Castle Town of Inuyama. Ah, look at that! They sell ramen and cucumbers. Looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween waffle and the drinks. Can you see the people over there? Yes, we will get there.
and that's, that's the entrance. Wow. It's really nice and there's so many tree gate. That's one of the popular spot here. Heart Emma. Emma. People write wishes. It's really popular for dating couples. <laughs> Oh my goodness, definitely this is a photo spot. <laughs> Loving it. So here, small history lesson. This castle is built around 1550. It was during the war period. Well, compared to other castles, there are many unique points. For example, here, it's the really small street. Now, they don't have many buildings, but before, there were so many buildings. So this was the most dangerous point for someone who tried to attack this castle. This is the oldest castle in Japan we have right now. Compared to the other castle, usually the stones are squared. But uh, this one, called Nozura, they just brought the regular stones and they tried to build the castle wall. They told me that this is a really rare stone, but... Uh... I have no idea. <laughs> well, if you know, please let me know in the comment. Anyway, let's keep walking. And here we go. That's the national treasure, Inuyama Castle, the oldest castle in Japan. Can you see the difference? Compared to the other castle, usually the castle is like a pyramid style. But this one, no, that castle is like rectangle and then the other house on top. So that's the old fashion. Well, maybe if you love castle, you can realize the difference. Well, if you don't, you know, <laughs> you can feel that. Anyway, that's the oldest castle in Japan. It's all made by wood. Wow. So this is the entrance. Oh my goodness. Well, totally different compared to the other castle. So this is a place for king of the castle. As you can see, it gets higher. And also, that's a place for the ninja. Whenever the king sit down there, the ninja is hidden behind it. And still, okay, let's go up. On this floor, there is a buguno-ma. That's a place for weapon. And you can you see that small item over there? Actually, that's peach. In the ancient time, they believe peach is a lucky item. So there are many places you can find a peach. It's like a hidden Mickey Mouse <laughs> at the Disneyland. Never mind. Okay, let's go up. And we have to go to the upstairs. All right, let's go up. Whew. And one more stairs to go. We are going to the top of the castle. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at the view here. Wow. It's really scary. And then, you know what? We can actually go out. Ah. Well, I'm afraid of the heights, but uh, you know, since we have a chance, why not? Let's try <laughs> wait <laughs> super windy and scary uh, i think it's too scary for me because it's really shaking maybe next time we can explore oh wait the wind getting better so let's let's keep walking yeah let, 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 let's keep walking by the way if i stand as you can see handrail is too too low so, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, shoot. Wow, that's really beautiful. Really beautiful, but scary. So that's the Hotel Indigo we are heading to. And that's the Urakuen. They have a national treasure. <laughs> oh my goodness, so that's enough. Okay, let's go back. So he is taking us to the tea house. All right, let's go inside. Wow. <laughs> nice atmosphere. Before visiting National Treasure's tea house, 
。I enjoy the green tea and sweets. It costs only 600 Japanese yen. いただきます。うん。おいしい。It was my first time to learn the way to drink the tea, but they are really nice and they always welcome the beginner. So I really recommend to try it if you visit here. Bitter. <laughs> It's a little bit bitter, really nice green tea flavor, and then especially. I love this atmosphere. You know, always atmosphere makes the food perfect. Good to see you. Love it. 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 Well, unfortunately, we can't get inside, but we can see how it looks like. So that's the tea house of natural treasure, and also this is the important cultural property. This is the house they live, and、uh, that's the tea house. Oh, that's the Inuyama Castle where we are. <laughs> Time of the sunset.、Uh, So that's the tea house, and this is Hotel Indigo, where we can see the Inuyama Castle really beautifully. Hotel Indigo, one of the best view spot hotel near Inuyama Castle. They showed me one of their rooms. Literally, the view from there was priceless. Oh my goodness, look at that! It's beautiful. The room had really nice atmosphere and so detailed. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Oof! It gets a little bit chilly over here, but look at the sky. <laughs> oh my goodness, so beautiful. Well, this was a wonderful trip. Again, thank you so much for inviting me to Tube area. I could experience wonderful culture, history, and the nice food. Yes, <laughs> I'm loving it. Finally, Japan opens. There are more adventures coming. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can find my channel much easier. So hope you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan through this video. So see you in the next video. See you now. Have a great day. Bye -bye. Oh my goodness! <laughs> A really beautiful place.